The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all. As Chennai faced the brunt of the Northeast monsoon, the city's unsung heroes, its sanitary workers, stepped in. Working round the clock to ensure water stagnation did not cripple the roads and streets. From the night of October 14, as many as 11,000 workers were mobilized, clearing silt from catch pits, unblocking storm water drains and removing waste to allow free flow of rainwater. Their relentless effort ensured that the roads remained navigable and flood-free, drawing praise from Deputy Chief Minister Udinidi Stalin, who distributed relief materials and extended his gratitude to them for their service. <laughs> But for many of these workers, appreciation isn't enough. According to the GCC, the city has a total of 18,845 sanitary workers, which includes a mix of permanent staff, temporary workers under the Day NULM scheme and employees outsourced through private contractors. Though they play a critical role in keeping the city clean, a significant portion of these workers lack job security and proper benefits. In fact, just a month ago, on September 9, over 1,100 sanitary workers went on strike, protesting the privatization of solid waste management in four key zones of the city, Tondiarpet, Royapuram, Tiruvika Nagar and Annanagar. These zones where the GCC manages waste directly became a flashpoint for workers who feared that privatization would worsen their already precarious employment conditions. Many, especially those employed under the Deen Dayal Antyodaya Yojana, National Urban Livelihoods Mission, are demanding permanent positions after years of service, higher salaries and the basic right to paid leave. Some workers have expressed concerns that the private companies might not hire individuals over 50 years of age, a move which they fear could reduce wages for others. The concerns are not new. In 2021 too, the sanitary workers protested. Then Tamil Nadu leader of opposition M.K. Stalin had urged the GCC to reconsider privatization plans, citing the negative impact on workers. Now, as Chief Minister, he faces the task of addressing the demand of these workers, a task that remains largely unfulfilled even as they continue to keep the city functional during crises like floods. When Chennai was hit by Cyclone Michong, around 3,449 sanitary workers from different districts were deployed to assist in clearing the flood-affected areas. They were offered 4,000 rupees and a gift hamper for their efforts. Yet, many of them remain in temporary roles, demanding permanency after having worked for over 480 days, a threshold that by labour standards should qualify them for permanent employment. M.K. Stalin, after inspecting relief work, had tea with the sanitary workers and interacted with them. But his election manifesto promise of providing paid leave and some of the other benefits to these workers remain unfulfilled. Their efforts during the monsoon have helped in handling crisis, but their struggle for basic rights continues. Without permanent job status or sufficient wages, their livelihood remains in jeopardy. The Federal and Devaki Speciality Hospital jointly present the Madurai Marathon 2024 Run for Health on Sunday, October 20th, 2024. Entry is free for all.